Devarim, Deuteronomy 33. And this is the blessing wherewith Moshe, the man of Elohim, blessed at the children of Yashara'el before his death. And he said, Yahuwah came from Sinai and rose up from Seir unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran. And he came with 10,000 of Kodeshim. From his right hand went a fiery law for them. Yea, he loved the people. All his Kodeshim are in your hand. And they sat down at your feet. Everyone shall receive of your words. Moshe commanded us a Torah. Even the inheritance of the assembly of Yaakov. And he was king in Yasharan. When the heads of the people and the tribes of Yasharael were gathered together. Let Reuven live and not die. And let not his men be few. And this is the blessing of Yahuda. And he said, Hear, Yahuwah, the voice of the, rather, the voice of Yahuda, and bring him unto his people. Let his hands be sufficient for him, and be you a help to him from his enemies. And of Levi, he said, Let your Tumim and your Urim be with your Kassid, whom you did prove at Makkah and with whom you did strive at the waters of Merivah, who you, rather, who said unto his father and to his mother, I have not seen him, neither did he acknowledge at his brethren, nor knew at his own children, for they have guarded your word and have kept your covenant. They shall teach Yaakov your judgments and Yashara'el your Torah. They shall put incense before you and hold burnt sacrifice upon your altar. Bless Yahuwah, his substance, and accept the work of his hands. Smite through the loins of them that rise against him and of them that hate him, that they rise not again. And of Binyamin, he said, the beloved of Yahuwah shall dwell in safety by him, and Yahuwah shall cover him all the day long. And he shall dwell between his shoulders. And of Yosef, he said, Blessed of Yahuwah be his land, for the precious things of heaven, for the dew and for the deep that couches beneath, and for the precious fruits brought forth by the sun, and for the precious things put forth by the moon, and for the chief things of the ancient mountains, and for the precious things of the lasting hills, and for the precious things of the earth, and fullness thereof, and for the good will of him that dwelt in the thorn bush. Let the blessing come upon the head of Yosef, and upon the top of the head of him that was separated from his brethren. His glory is like the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of unicorns. With them he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth, and they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manaheshehe. And of Zebulun he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in your going out, and Yishakar in your tents. They shall call the people unto the mountain, and there they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness, for they shall suck of the abundance of the seas, and of treasures hid in the sand. And of Gad, he said, Blessed be he that enlarges Gad. He dwells as a lion and tears the arm with the crown of the head. And he provided the first part for himself, because there, in a portion of the Torah giver, was he seated. And he came with the heads of the people. He executed the justice of Yahuwah and his judgments with Yashara'el. And of Dan, he said, Dan is a lion's whelp. He shall leap from Bashan. And of Naphtali, he said, O oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full with the blessing of Yahuwah, possess you the west and the south. And of Asher, he said, Let Asher be blessed with children, 
Let him be acceptable to his brethren, and let him dip his foot in oil. Your shoes shall be iron and brass, and your days so shall your strength be. There is none like unto the El of Yasharan, who rides upon the heavens in your help, and in his excellency on the sky. The eternal Elohim is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before you, and shall say, Destroy them. Yashara El then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Yaakov shall be upon a land of grain and wine. Also his heavens shall drop down dew. Happy are you, O Yashara El, who is like unto you? a people saved by Yahuwah, the shield of your help, and who is the sword of your excellency. And your enemies shall be found liars unto you, and you shall tread upon their high places.